I've got on shorts. My flip flops are wet. It's summertime weather. And uh, today I had to work this morning and it seems like every one of my friends that I know around here that fish absolutely demolished the Spanish. So I'm trying to get out there and get on a fish. I don't care what it is, it can be lizards. I'm gonna be trying to break some jaws today. So uh, yeah, we're doing a quick little trip and we're gonna see if we can get on some fish. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna be fishing for yet. Really, I wanna to try to find some first and we'll go from there. But uh, yeah, if you guys are not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. That's one of the biggest things I notice in my videos is most of the people that watch the videos are not subscribed. But I appreciate y'all, let's get to fishing. It's not often that I can run wide open in the ocean. I'm riding full speed, I look over, I see busting bait on the surface over here. So I'm gonna ease my way up and see if I can get on whatever this is. The bait I've got tied on is a split tail smasher. These are Elias shad, so we're gonna see if we can get on something with these. I'm just casting out and fast retrieving back. There we go, we're on. Hit it on the drop. That was awesome. And this thing, he just smashed it on the drop. Oh, that was cool. Okay, so we've got some bluefish in there, working in there. Oh, well, you guys saw it. Man, he destroyed my leader too. It's really important to uh, pay attention to that. When they start doing your leader like that, that's how you uh, mess up and lose a good fish. A little strength test on it. There we go. Oh, that's a good fish, okay. This is a real good fish. Okay. Five hook to Spanish. <laughs> not expect a bow hook Spanish today, but hey, we'll take it. Looks like we've got some good marks on them right now. I'm, a, I'm gonna drop the trolling motor. All right, we just switched up baits. Put on metal this time. As it seems like, there it is. Oh yeah. I was gonna say, it seems like I'm really having to burn it for these guys. <laughs> Man, this is a good fish. Staying down. Oh yeah. It's a good fish. <laughs> They're so fun to catch, man. They are, they really are. All right, buddy, honey. I'll, I'll save you if you let me. And they swipe so fast that uh, they just get caught. I mean, that's like a 18 inch. Go ahead, buddy. Get on out of here. And this is the jig that I'm using. It's got the double assist hooks on the bottom. It's glove and silver. I picked these up at Sportsman's Wholesale for $6.99, I believe. Let's we'll see if we can get back out there and get another one. This is a ledge. I'm on the deep end. It's more shallow over there. I'd say probably 50 yards. The fish will actually patrol the perimeter of these ledges and try to grab a meal that's drifting through. I'm not really marking a whole lot at the moment, but you know, that's how these fish are. They patrol. So. Oh, oh, just got hit. Just got hit. Come on. Come on. It seems like they're deeper in the water column. Because when I'm retrieving fast on the surface, I'm not getting any action. But when I'm pulling it up off the bottom, that's when I'm getting hit. There he is. Oh, he came off. Oh, he hit it again. No way. I can't believe that. Oh, they're following him up. They're following him up. That's so cool. That's awesome. Fish are actually patrolling the, the contour. And what I'm doing is pulling off of the, the more shallow end into the deep water. It does seem like they're lower than I expected. So I'm having to let it sink for probably five to 10 seconds. They're going under about mid water column right now. So I'm gonna let it sink a little bit longer this time and try to pull through them. But it's, I mean, I'm marking some good fish right now. Oh, I missed him, I missed him. I'm gonna stop reeling and let it sink. Pop it, pop it. 
and I'll retrieve again. Got him. <laughs> oh, he came home. No. That was awesome. <laughs> and we're in the spot, man. We are in the spot. There we go. There's a good fish. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Got some backbone on him. Got me an old thick and nugget. No, he came off. Oh no. Man, that was a good one. Alright, they are about midwater column again. They're they're hanging out about midwater column today. I haven't seen any surface activity. Usually, you know, you'll get a lot of sign from the birds and they'll tell you what's going on as far as glass minnows being pushed up or or any type of bait being attacked from below. What these fish will do is they'll they'll start corralling the bait and then that bait will slowly work up to the surface. Well, when it breaches the surface, that's when the birds are diving on it. So that's your telltale whenever you're Spanish fishing. I mean, the guy goes for Albi, Spanish, Atlantic Bonita. I mean, I saw bluefish earlier. I showed y'all that clip. Uh, it's just a matter of, you know, what type of behavior they're exhibiting that specific day. All right, I've got a good mass of them going underneath the boat this time. If you can really tell, the, the, these pelagics, man, they just kind of go in a circle around and around and around. And you just got to time it right that you're there when they're coming underneath the, the boat or within your casting distance. There we go. There we go. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. Oh, he flipped off. I'm a little too rough with him. <laughs> Get back out there. There we go. There we go. Just had to switch it up a little bit. Oh yeah. Things are so fun to just cast like this one. I've been itching for a good Spanish day and I finally got one. They're all really good eaters too. Now what I'm throwing is just a one ounce jig. You could throw heavier, but I always have the best luck with one ounce. It sinks fairly slow compared to the one and a half and twos, but you're still, you know, when you retrieve pretty quickly, you cut out that bluefish and you can actually get on the pelagic. Guys, that's gonna wrap us up. We did not actually get any Atlantic Bonito, but Spanish fishing is as good as it gets right now. If you guys have a friend with a boat, if you have a boat, try to get out when you can. If you don't have a boat, I suggest hitting the piers. I mean, they smoked them this morning on the Johnny Mercers, and that's out of Wilmington, North Carolina, for those of you who are not local. But yeah, if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, I'd love to have y'all join. Most of the people that view my content are not subscribed to the channel. And if you would turn on notifications, it'll actually send you a notification to your phone that says Eric posted a video. So that helps me out. But if I can help y'all with any real estate needs, my contact information is down below, and I can't wait to see y'all next time. Thank you.